Hi everyone, my name is Monique. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we're going to be playing through a game called Apiary. Yes, this game is designed by Connie Vogelman and published by Stonemeyer Games. Now, uh, Apiary is a game that we've already covered earlier on the channel. We did a kind of a rules overview as well as our initial thoughts from some of the earlier plays. Mm -hmm. uh, we asked the community if you wanted to see a full playthrough as long as we had time. Well, we have time today. So we are going to be doing a two-player playthrough of this game. And uh, we're just going to get right into it. Yes. So if you're not familiar with this game, this is a game all about the evolution of or uh, the evolved form of the honeybee, right? Yes. This is a, a, a world that's far into the future where humans no longer exist. And somehow these honeybees were able to evolve so much so that they can go to space. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so today, we're actually going to jump straight into the playthrough. So if you'd like to learn how to play the game, we did a general overview of what to expect, and you can check out that video up there. Now, before we begin, if you could all do us a big favor and turn on your Klingon subtitles. If we make any mistakes, we can add those corrections there. We'll also add them to the description as well. Uh, lastly, if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more in the future, please consider subscribing. And with that, we are ready to begin. So if you please direct your attention to the center of the table, we're all set up here for a two-player game of Apiary. Welcome to the future. There it is. <laughs> All right, before we get started, the one thing that I will mention is uh, if you are at all confused in our previous video, the object of the game really is just to score the most amount of points. points. And we're going to be doing this by building up our hives. So everything is asymmetric. We have an asymmetric hive as well as an asymmetric uh, B faction. Mm -hmm. And in general, you'll find points in a lot of different places. You'll find them on the tiles that we're going to try to acquire. On the queen's favorite track, the seed cards that we'll be planting will give us points. The hibernation comb has them and even some of the tiles in the explore area mm -hmm. and just like always we're going to be narrating everything that we do and explaining all the different actions that we take mm -hmm. so are we ready to begin yes okay we first need to see who goes first right okay what do you want to do Rock, paper, scissors? All yeah. right. <laughs> you oh me all right well all that right. means i get uh, more points because whoever goes first gets one point so yeah i go right here monique is going to have two points to start the game because yes. this is our score track Right. All right. Would you like to introduce yourself? Sure. Okay. We are the Pomone, and uh, our area is the Langstroth as well. And so my tile here says, this is an endgame scoring. Uh, I get two points for every farm tile that's adjacent to this specific tile, not the entire thing, specifically to this. So I'm going to want to load up some farms around this in the future. Right. So it's your specific hex. It's my specific hex, yes. And if I was to upgrade this, instead of them being worth two points, they're worth three points. Real simple, real easy. So instead of having a specific ability, you have an endgame scoring criteria. It gives me a goal. Okay. Yeah. So I'm playing as the Saha faction, and sure. my hive is called the Log. Mm -hmm. It's this sort of bunched configuration. Sure. My ability says that whenever I retrieve, I collect an additional uh, income. And so what that means is when I either take a retrieve action or if there's a benefit that allows me to retrieve, when collecting income on my farms, I can choose one more than the amount of workers that I retrieve, right. if that makes sense. And it looks like we both start with the same configuration of workers. Yes. It's a strength two and two of strength one. Yep, two, one, one. And I think that's it for setup. Yep. So are you ready to begin? Yeah, let's do it. All right. So just as a reminder, uh, we're basically going to continue playing until the end game trigger has been met. And that is when either one of us has put out all seven of our hibernation tokens or if the hibernation comb becomes completely filled. And mm -hmm. since we're playing a two player game, that is only going to be these two areas here. This is for a three player game only. At that point, each player gets one more turn, including the player who triggered the end of the game. And then you go into final scoring. All right. Take it away, Naveen. OK, uh, very first action of the game. I think I'm going to do something very simple. Mm -hmm very easy. I want to get some stuff. So I am going to take my number one worker here and I'm going to place them out into the explore region. So I'm going to do one plus nothing. So I can only move the queen bee mothership here or here. I'd like to take this slot right over there. So I'm going to be able to collect this um, wax right okay. here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that and I do have a spot for it. I'm going to keep it right there. You keep all these tokens on our board right here because sometimes you might be able to score some end game stuff for having these. Now, because this is the first time I've explored the space with the uh, queen ship, we get to put out one of these shuffled planet tiles. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Oh, <laughs> all right. This one is not my favorite because that, it Naveen? only has space for one <laughs> for one thing. <laughs> okay. I get to decide what goes on it, but it's not good enough for me. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and place that there. And I get the thing that I, uh, I place on there. My options are the three basic type of resources. Yes, when so, discovering a planet tile, yeah. 
you choose one of the three basic types of resources, and now that's going to stay there so that anybody who goes to that planetile gets that resource. Yeah. And on Monique's side of the board, she has the three basic resources. We have fiber, pollen, and water. So it's like? my choice to, uh, to pick. Let's go with fiber. Let's go ahead and put fiber out there. So one fiber is going to go on here to indicate that anytime somebody explores this planet, they'll get fiber. And then because I was the explorer, I get what uh, what I placed out there. Yes, so and you can you can hold it, right? I can hold it, yeah. So we have space for uh, what we can hold, so I do have enough space. Nice. So we talked about these three basic resources. We also have two more advanced resources. We have wax, which is what I just took, as well as honey, which will be very important for taking these tiles. These ones primarily focus on endgame scoring. Right. So that's it. Simple turn. Back to you. All right. Well, I'm going to do something very similar. Um, I'm also going to put out my strength one worker. Okay. And if these are really difficult to see, uh, we're going to be calling out the strengths as we place sure, them. Sure, yeah. So because gotcha. this bumped Naveen to the rightmost space, I'm now going to add those two values together, which means I can move the queen bee up to two spaces orthogonally. But, you know, yeah, let's do that, okay. actually. Sure. <laughs> I'm going to go one, two. So I get to take this, and uh, this lets me take one of the three basic resources of my choice. So with that, I think I'll take uh, pollen. pollen. Yep. And I only have one last spot for it right there. All right. So hopefully I get luckier than you did. Oh, I mean. oh <laughs> wow. yeah, you did. A little bit better. This is the jackpot. Kirby die. It has everything. It has a, a, a base, a resource already on it, and it has a strength four uh, benefit. So I'm going to get a, a fiber no matter what, but I think I'm going to place another pollen on here. Okay. So I gain both of those things, and in the future, if we can place a... Uh, strength four action uh, worker. When going there, you can take the uh, the bottom benefit, which is, what does that say? It's gain uh, two resources and three victory points. That's a pretty decent... Uh, oh, I don't have space. Not having space is not a problem, Monique. You get to go up to Queen's favor. No, what a, a great for teaching me. moment. <laughs> well, since you don't discard your resources until the end of your turn, I think I can still take them yep. and then decide which ones to keep. That's true. So it's one of these and one of these, right? Fiber and pollen, yep. Yeah, I wanted to keep a pollen. Ooh. So You're I'll building do your that. engine. Huh? You're building your engine. And I'm going to toss these. What engine? <laughs> you're, you're, I see these all cost two pollen, I see you. Yes. Yeah, so I'm discarding you. these two. Okay. Uh, because, and the reason why is because I can't store them. This can only store water, and these two are for the more advanced resources. So for each resource you discard, uh, you get to go up on this track. I'm gray, huh? Yeah, you're gray. One, great. two. Yeah, nice. and that's indicated here. So anytime you have to get rid of any resource you can't hold on to, you get to move up passively up this track. Right. It's important to note, though, you cannot choose to not take uh, a resource. It's only if you're forced to discard. Yeah, if you have space for it, you must keep it. Mm -hmm. And that's me. So now it goes back to you. Okay. All right, I'm going to take the advanced action. Now, this is how you get more of these tiles and put them into your hive. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be placing out the number one B. And the first time it's there, it's going to be one plus one, the pre-printed on the board. Uh, eventually, as you start to move, uh, then you just add the value of to what whatever uh, B is there. So right now, I have a total value of two, meaning I can only pull tiles from this particular column as it's two plus. Mm -hmm. So what will you build? A farm? Get your income started? Or, oh, you do have that I do have wax, uh, the wax, but right? honestly, so uh, because of my hive being the Langstroth, I'm going to build a farm because if I build one right here, it says a farm built here costs one less fiber and one less water. So you'd only have to spend one I fiber? I only have to spend one fiber. Just so you know what you are <laughs> vetoing, yeah. this development tile says you gain two of your workers for free, a strength one or two. So the, two the problem with that one is I have one, two, three workers there, so I would only gain one. Yeah. I would like to get the most bang from buck on that, getting two workers That's at fair. one time. So I'm going to save that wax or maybe something a little bit better. So this one is going to cost um, just the one fiber, like mm -hmm. we mentioned. So I'll pay that out to you. Nice. Uh, this is going to be worth one victory point at the very end of the game, as long as it's on my board. And then also, anytime I take income and tap into this, I'm going to score two victory points. Nice. So it's something I want to do. Now, because I took that discount, I have to put it on this one, which is not good for my end game scoring because I want farms around this right. particular hex. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. It's just the very beginning. <laughs> I debated taking that, so now I feel kind of bad that it's no longer <laughs> available. Yeah. So these slide down. Yep. And we're going to get a new farm. A new. In the expensive slot. This is holds water. You get water. It's a very water water, uh, water farm. Okay. Interesting. Well, I would also like to advance, but because you went there, I'm sort of, uh, I have a difficult decision to make. I can either build the botanist, 
which will let me, whenever you build a tile adjacent to me, I can gain a seed card. And mm. that's kind of nice early on. But also there's the insurer, which if I place out my strength to be, I would be able to build because this says whenever you hibernate, gain two points. Actually, I just realized it says whenever you hibernate <laughs> and not whenever you retrieve. Hibernating is good though. Yeah. Well, eventually. But do how it. many times am I going to hibernate? There are only three, four, five, six, seven, eight slots. So two players, maybe, maybe four, times. four times. Maybe five, because you're better than me. It's almost yeah. <laughs> it's almost more beneficial for me to find a farm like yours. Yours is what I want to do because I'm the Saha. True. So I'm just going to place my strength one okay. worker, save that strength two for another day. So your math is the same. So the yes. bee that got pushed in is my original one. Right, so because two. this spot is only if you're the only bee in this whole action spot. But because there are two of us now, we do the math. One plus one is two. And I'm going to build the botanist. Okay. So this cost me two of my pollen. This is the whole reason why I did all that over there. Because I wanted to get one of these going right. as soon as possible. And I think I'm going to build it uh, up here. Because it right now, it is the most lucrative spot. Sure. It gets, well, it gets you water for covering it up. It gives me water for covering it. And I can build out four around it. And the reason why I would want to do that is because if you can cover this entire hive, it's eight points. So I could say... Put it somewhere like this uh, because there's technically one more space available, but that would require me to build out an additional add on. It's, it's too much work. I'm so, just what are you going to do? I'm going to go there. There you go. And that spot gets me a water. Oh, no. Okay. It does. Yes. <laughs> I was like, wait, can I not hold this? You have plenty of water slots. Uh, I want to keep the resources right now. All right, let's slide these down. So, one, two, and then we get a new, a new recruit. recruit the chemist. Oh, so this is when you take the convert action. The uh, I never remember the names of these wax, 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 and honey cost uh, one fewer pollen. Very good. Okay, that's, that's kind of a later pretty, game pretty thing. This one, by the way, is the aquaculture aquaculturalist that says when you take the advanced action, which is this one, um, the farms no longer cost water. Naveen, I don't <laughs> have any pollen. That's nice, <laughs> but what? I do see a way to get pollen. Oh right my here. gosh! All right, back yeah. to you. I think I'm going to have to do that. All right. So <laughs> seeing that that is out there and I don't have any pollen and there's an easy way to get pollen, I'm going to send out my 2B, which is nice for me because I'm going to be bumping myself off of this slot. So it's going to kind of conveyor belt down. This is the one that gets bumped off. Monique's one slides in. My two comes here. So I have a total math of three. Uh, with this particular one, I can choose to either send it to my landing area, yes. not advancing this one to a two and kind of just holding it there. Right. Or I can choose to level it up, which I want to do. So I'm going to turn its one into a two, thereby allowing me to have another action without yeah. having to do a kind of recall income. Right. So uh, my total is three, but honestly, I'm only going to move it down just one space orthogonal so I can get this pollen. Yeah, nice. So I'll take pollen. Good. And let's get a nice flip here. <laughs> what do you think, Monique? I hope the planet gods are, uh, are very generous to you. Ah, there we go. We That's get right. one water get and water. Uh, I get to choose both of these, I believe. Well, what's the name of the planet? Uh, Cariopa. Oh, okay. Cariopa. There we go. So no, you only choose one. Do I only choose one? Yes, yes, okay, yes. Okay, the next person that goes there gets the other one. Is that yes. how it works? I can't remember. Yes. Okay, so I get the water for sure. Let's go ahead and put a fiber on there. A fiber, this yeah. one, green? Yeah, so we're okay. going to put fiber on there. So I get both fiber as well as water. Yes. And so this last space, if one of us goes back to this planet and re-explores it, then we get to determine what that little slot is going to be. Right. All right, so now I'm a flush. Looks good. Yes, and if on my turn, if I wanted to take the explore action, I wouldn't be able to go here because the queen bee always has to go to a different planet. Right. All right. Well, considering I don't have any farms, which is probably a mistake because I should have, I really should have gotten a farm earlier. Mm. Um, I think I'm going to need to bump myself off because I'm not ready to take a retrieve action. It's going to be a waste, such a waste. So I'm going to bump myself off of the explore. explore. So okay. this is my strength two okay. worker. So, so two plus two. So you actually have a total of four. Yes. This is going to go, I'm going to advance this to a two. It's a now a strength two worker. I'm going to re return them to my active pool. Sure. So I'm going to move the queen ship. One, two, three. Yeah, get two points. <laughs> I'm going points. to stop short, get the two points while I can, and kind of see what's in store. I'll give you two points. One, Thank two, you. There you go. For my planet. All right. Let's see what I get. Low planet. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Zingy. So Zingy is going to get me a pollen right pollen away. right away. And then if you go to this planet with a strength four, you can teach one dance and use it twice. Ah, efficient. What do you think? What should me? I put there? 
Well, you're going to get it, so. I'm going to go with another one of these. Double pollen. Double pollen. Ooh. Double pollen. So you get two pollen. Yeah. Yep. Two, two pollen. Two pollen And for I you. can store them this time. You so. can. What are you doing? All right. That's me. Well, now that you have pollen, uh, <laughs> the pressure's on because I think we're all trying to build these things. So yeah. <laughs> I'm going to advance. I'm going to bump myself off. I will turn my one into a two. Ugh. So I'm going to make it a two. My total value here is two plus one, so three. Mm -hmm. So I can take from either one of these two uh, columns. I'm going to take the one that makes water not a thing anymore. For, for building farms? For building farms, okay. yeah. Seems pretty good. So... Uh, this one is going to cost two pollen. Now, I only have one pollen, but on my Langstroth, a uh, recruit tile built here costs two less pollen. So two yes. minus two makes it free. Okay, so that's going to go right there. And it's not worth any points, but it gives me now this ability where anytime I build a farm, yeah. I do not have to pay water. That's really nice. Which, uh, it's tools in your tool belt, right? Yeah. Okay, so the next recruit is an artisan. Okay. Oh, uh, when you take the carve action, uh, it costs one fewer honey. Whoa. Oh, but it costs you three pollen. It does. All right, you know, before I take my action, let's just go over these carved tiles. Yeah, sure. So we're going to play with a different set of these every game. There's a big stack. There's a big stack. So we have research here that looks like it's three points per uh, development mm -hmm. tile that you have. Yep. This is one point per space on here. So oh. not the value that you see under, but the actual white printed number. So That's nice. That's you're, better. Yeah, if you're at 12, you get 12. This is one point for every tile you've built in your hive. Mm -hmm. Three points per placed, uh, I think, hibernation token. Yep. This is three points per these tokens, exploration tokens. We're both working on those. And this is four points per adjacent farm. Not farm, uh, recruits. It has. A oh, sorry. B yeah, symbol. recruit yep. the B, the B symbol. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I can feel a uh, retrieve action <laughs> coming soon. So I'm gonna go back to the advance action okay bump this worker off this is going to advance to a two because i'm going to put them back in the active pool we're okay. spamming the same two locations here yeah but it's because i want to build a farm tile and i want to build it adjacent to this hex so that i can gain a seed card sure so since the sum is four i can take from either of these two columns and i think getting a <laughs> any basic resource is better than just getting a water it is okay. more expensive it's going to cost one fiber and one water okay so there's that. But, uh, oh, and it can only hold water. That's hold the water. other kicker. That's, uh, that's, that's okay. Kicker. I'm going to place it here. And this is going to gain me a basic, basic resource, resource of my choice, mm -hmm. which I think I'll just take another water. Okay. Since I can hold so much water sure. anyway. All right. Since I built oh, a sorry. tile <laughs> adjacent to my botanist, I gain a seed card. Oh, you do. Yeah. Uh, so we have decided to play with our seed cards uh, public just so... We we're, can yeah we're filming it so it's it makes sense yeah yeah and so we, no surprises here you can see everything that we that we take so this is a seed card that allows me to add plus or minus one strength to one of my uh, my workers oh very good if I'm able to plant this then I get five points if my hive mat is full oh nice. whoa that's whoa. in addition to the eight yeah. then right so you're probably okay. gonna plant that so I'm just gonna place them here you can spend that at any time alternatively I can just spend it for a basic resource if I don't care for the other two things that mm -hmm. I said and that's it. So now these move down, and we have another farm. Fresh. Wow, this is three points. Three oh. points every time you take income, but it's a lot of resources. Well, I think I'm going to bump myself off the explore here because I think I'm going to do something a little, what I think is semi-clever. We'll see in the okay. long run. So this two, I'm actually going to convert it to a three. I will make it uh, get a little stronger. Okay. So uh, my total is four. I'm only going to move it one space to this location here, mm -hmm. and I'm going to get myself... Um, two uh, fiber. I can't hold fiber, so that means uh, okay. I'm probably going to be moving up the queen's track. Let's go ahead and see something glorious. <laughs> Nolia. <laughs> That's okay. I'm not mad. Yeah. That's okay. So uh, with Nolia, sport. I'm just going to go ahead and put that under here. I get to choose what goes on it. Yeah. Uh, let, let's make it fiber. I, I, I'm just going to boost up the queen's track. Okay. So three fiber, which are not going to be able to go on. So there you go. That's my fiber. So we're going to put one here. Oh, yes, yes. You have the there. best planet luck. Yeah. There you and go. There you go. Fiber. Now, this is the end of my turn. Yeah. And I do not have space to actually house this fiber. So right. for every single one I cannot, I get to move up on the queen's favor. So we're going to go one, two, three. Nice. Hopefully I can get to the end by the end of the game because that's a lot of points. Yeah. All right, back to me. I'm going to place my final uh, my final worker bee, which means I think I'm going to have to take a retrieve action on my next turn. Possibly. So this is my strength two. I'm upping you. So okay. you can turn I'll that into a three. I'll take my two into a three, yeah. Okay. 
So I think I'm going to build the chemist okay. right now. So this recruit is going to cost me my two uh, pollen. Yep. And I'm going to place this. This gives me a pollen discount when I convert uh, specifically to honey and wax. Yeah, that's good. Oh, do I want to get a one worker now? I'm going to keep it simple, and I'm just going to go here so for now. So I can fiber. gain the fiber. Yeah. I'm going to gain the fiber. And because I'm building this adjacent to my botanist, I get another seed card, which says the worker you place this turn acts as if it is a strength four worker. <gasps> At the end of the game, two points per planted seed. So I'm assuming that's including itself. Interesting. So I can mm. take a nice look at these strength four worker <laughs> abilities. Yeah. But you can upgrade your faction tile. Yeah, that's true. Because I think my upgraded faction tile gives me the um, option of scoring points when I retrieve. Instead, sure. ugh, I kind of regret not taking a worker and doing that instead. But anyway, back to you. All right, I'm going to send out my three worker. I'm actually going to bump you here, Are you Monique. Yeah, I'm going to advance you. <laughs> Why am I so, surprised? Yeah, so okay, three so plus two, so three. a total five. This is perfect because I want this farm tile and I need to be in the five slot. Ah, uh, I was trying to prevent you from taking uh, that. No, it's mine. Uh, so this one on income, it's worth three points. Yeah. Uh, and then it's going to be worth one point for itself. Uh, it's going to cost two fiber and two water. Uh -huh. However... Uh, I don't have to pay for water anymore because of my advanced agriculturalist here. Your aquaculturist. Aquaculturist. Oh, yeah. There you go. Long word. So <laughs> uh, it's going to cost me two fiber. Yeah. So one, two. Off they go. And then I'm just going to place this one right here. So now I am going to score at least two points at the end of the game because I have a farm next to my uh, main faction token right there, our, our hex. Nice. And I upgraded my worker to a strength three, by the okay. way. Sounds good. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is... Uh, it lets you take any basic resource of your choice when you take income. All right, back to me. I think I'm going to use one of my seed cards. Okay. So you can actually use these before or after your turn, and you can use any number of them. You can even use them the turn that you got them. Right. So this one is the one that's not as lucrative between the two, I think. The one on your left hand? Yeah, maybe. Okay. It really just depends <laughs> what I end up doing. Sure. Um, but this says the worker you place this turn acts as if it is a strength four worker. Mm. Now, when taking this or when using its ability, I don't actually uh, change the worker to a four. So that three will remain a three. It'll remain a three, yeah. Okay. But I'm going to take the grow action because it's a nice time to do this. This okay. gets discarded. Yep. So the reason why I wanted to do that is so that I can al also upgrade my faction tile. So this is going to flip over. So she's she, her four represents this. So she's taking this uh, the four strength action yes. as if this three is a four because of this uh, seed card. So she upgraded it. What does that do on the other side? Well, it gives me the option instead of just instead of taking an additional uh, income, I can choose to take two points. Oh, okay. So I haven't taken a retrieve turn yet, and I figured I only have one farm, At so it's kind of a waste yeah. of my faction. So okay. let's then, upgrade that now. And then, now you have four action points that you can use amongst this. So you can do this twice. You can do this four times if you wanted to. So right. it's any combination. I think I'm going to only do one of them. Okay. <laughs> As I only have these three yeah. resources. That's right. I could technically spend this to get a basic resource of my choice. I but think that, you like that seed That planted. seed, yeah. Plus the five This is five additional points. Yeah. So that's kind of nice. That's assuming I'm able to fill all this. Okay. Uh, but I will go ahead and turn in, I guess I'll turn in one of each. Yeah. One okay. uh, fiber so and one water. So you're doing the two strength here. Yeah. Uh, so you're going to get one of these. Yeah. First time seeing it. Yes. This is just an extension. These are all exactly the same. There's a stack of them off screen. And I'm going to basically build out my hive to make it bigger. Okay. Now, I only have to complete this main hive to get the eight, eight points. Yep. And so if I'm also able to complete this one, then it's an additional eight points. Right. So. There's no penalty on not completing these things, so you might as well try. Yeah. Um, and they, they give you seed cards they if do. you're able to. I don't know what, that looks what great. the answer. You like that? That looks fantastic. All right. We're Stays doing on it. the board, too. Yeah. Amazing. And I can immediately build onto it if I, if I want to. That's me. That is the end of my turn. Okay, well, I see I have two threes out here. Now I could take another action. I'm actually going to explore a little bit more. Okay. I, li I like the idea of going up this track. So I'm going to, I will bump you You're here. You're going to bump me? I will bump you. So I have a uh, three mm. plus two here. I turned this into a three. Uh, you turned that into a three? Okay. Ugh, I have no resources. <laughs> so I have a three plus two and I'm just going to move one space over and I'm going to take this uh, queen's um, favor token. So okay. that means I get to go immediately up on this track. And then now let's see what we get from this planet. Uh, Gentia. So this has space for two of them. So I only get to choose one of the two. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go ahead and let's put pollen on there. 
Oh, okay. So I'm going to put pollen on there and also acquire pollen. There you go. That's the one on, okay. This one on the space? That's the one that goes on the space. Uh-huh. Perfect. And there's another space for somebody else to uh, explore the other half of the planet in the mm. future, maybe. Interesting. All right, that was my turn. So we are in a sort of strange situation now <laughs> because mm. we haven't been taking any re retrieve actions and now our workers are all climbing in value. They are. <laughs> if they all hit a level four... Uh, they'll all be forced to hibernate, and there are only eight spots in a two-player game that yep. will end the game. Yep. We don't have much to show for ourselves, Naveen. No. <laughs> and with that, I guess I'm not actually going to take a retrieve action. I'm going to bump you off of Explore. You're going to bump Because I am so depleted of resources. Okay. So you're going to put that. So now you have a total of six movement, which pretty much gets you anywhere. Uh, I'm actually surprisingly going to put this into my landing area and keep it as a two. Okay. I'm not going to level it up. Okay. Well, I'm going to go down this way. So one, two, three. I'm just going to go here because it gets me two resources. So you get water, uh, fiber, and then you get to choose if you want another water fiber or if you want to put pollen on there. I would like another fiber. So two fiber. So I will take two of these. So this planet now has two fiber on it plus a water, and that's water. maxed out. And then you get all three of those items. Yeah, okay. that was nice. Very, very good. All right, back to you. Okay, so this is the very first time in the game. Uh, I am going to be doing a uh, retrieve action. Mm. So uh, I'm going to pull down the, all my workers from the board, and then this one is also going to become active. Mm -hmm. The only thing is these two that are on the board, they will level up to the next level. So these threes are both going to become fours. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put them in my active pool. And this two that I kept down here is going to remain a two um, and go into my active pool. No, it still increases in strength. The ones from your landing area. The two goes to a three. Yes. Okay, sorry. It's when you send them to the landing area, they do not increase if you get bumped. Um, yeah. But when you go from here on the retrieve. So er earlier, it didn't matter. Yeah, I don't think this. you actually needed to send I didn't need to, to yeah. your landing area. The landing area is more of like if you have so many farms and you want to be able to activate all of them. Right. If I had three farms yeah. uh, and I knew I was going to do a retrieve, then I would send it to the landing area. But right, because right. I only have two then and, it didn't and I'm retrieving it, it's only two. Yeah. Uh, so let me go ahead and get uh, my two incomes here. So it's three <gasps> plus two, so five. So one goes to six. Wow, that's nice. Um, I don't have another farm because I would have loved to. Um, <laughs> and so now I have a three, four, four in play. Oh, no. Well, that is your entire action, right? That's it. So then it goes to me, and I don't have any more workers either, so okay. I have to to take a, uh, a retrieve action. So this is going to go up to a four. Nice. So I have a four, I have a three, and then I have another four. Can you pass me that one, please? Okay, so, this so, can, what, so this converts to a four? Yeah, so my, what I may want to consider doing is taking a one and then just using that be just a bunch. back and forth, yeah. Yeah. So now I'll collect income. I only have one farm, okay. and this is going to get me one basic resource, so I think I'm going to take what I don't have. Pollen. Which is pollen. Okay. Uh, my faction says when I retrieve, I can collect an additional farm, which I'm not going to do, or two points. I'm just going to go with two, two points. Two points, so we're both tied at six. Yes. All right. And that is it. Mm. So back to you. Okay, now I get to do something with my four. So let's go ahead and send out this four to the Explorer. And I'm going to move it just one space to Kerbita because I'm going to be able to take the strength for a benefit here. Mm -hmm. So Kerbita says I get these two resources. So can I have a fiber and a pollen? Mm -hmm. So I'll take those two. Thank there you. you. So now uh, I know I'm going to be going up this track because in addition to this... Um, I also, because it's a strength four yeah. that was placed out there, I gain two resources of my choice and three victory points. So I'm going to take three victory points. So six goes to nine. Okay. Two resources of my choice. Now you can be strategic about which yeah. resources those are because you can also rearrange your resources before discarding. Uh, so I think I, I'm going to do this real quick. And then let's just say two fiber. So I'm going to waste all the fiber. Two fiber. Two fiber. And then unfortunately, all of it is going to go to waste because I do not have space on my board to house it. So three. So three goes up. So I go one, two, three to the seven. So nice. hopefully I can just work my way up. But I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> so uh, back to you. All right. I'm actually going to go to the convert action. And I think I'm going to send my three okay. over there. So I can now take up to three different conversions. And this is the conversion chart here. And the thing that's nice is I have this chemist. To, uh, this chemist tile, which gives me a one uh, pollen discount when converting to either wax or honey. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm going to make two wax Kay. by spending these two to fiber. May Kay. I have two wax, please? Uh, two wax, yep. I think, in, I, think I can only hold those two wax. There's mm -hmm. nothing 
I don't have any um, other available spaces for honey. So with the third conversion, I'm going to turn one water into another uh, pollen. Okay. All right. Very good. That's it. All right, I'm gonna send out my three to uh, advance. Okay. And so I get three plus one, so I can take any of these two. And mm -hmm. since I have all this pollen, I really like this carved tile. <gasps> I don't like the fact that I have to take it because that's it's gonna nice. it's gonna be one of these spots that's right around my pomone. But honestly, this is gonna be uh, so that honey. Yeah. Whenever I do the carve action here, uh, honey is one less. That's so, so nice. Yeah. Honey is so expensive. Super expensive. So Ugh. it is gonna cost me all three of my pollen, and I'm gonna have to put it out. But I was worried that. Uh, how much pollen? Yeah, you have pollen. So I have two pollen. I know. I'm now realizing. I got a little, I got a little <laughs> scared though. Yeah. Okay. So. I wanted to nab this now, so I'm gonna put that there. Okay. And so now I have that ability. Very good, so now this slides down. Mm -hmm. This is the, oh, the, you can convert, you can produce this for free. Nice. With a scientist. Uh, what is that, wax? You can pr produce One wax, wax for free. free. Yeah. The herbalist says when you take the research, research action, the research action, mm -hmm. you also gain two basic resources. Okay, since I have this pollen, I think I am now gonna go back to advance, and okay. I'm going there with a strength four, Worker, which means I get three points, three points yep. One, for two, the three. strength four so about that nine. benefit. Yeah, and I think I'm going to take the insurer okay. because it's going to be time to hibernate now. And this is when this is going to start coming into play. When you, Whenever you hibernate, gain two points. Yeah, so good. this is two of my pollen. Okay. And I guess I'll place it here. So, so you get a worker. Yeah, so I can get a, I get a worker. I, get, I gain a, a one strength worker, so I may have... Yeah. My worker, please. Because the thing is, once we start hibernating these, these workers are going to go off the board. And you'll need to to re regrow them mm -hmm. <laughs> before you can you can start placing out workers again. So there's that. I also gain a seed card because it is next to my botanist. So this says I can pay one pollen to gain a one strength worker. At the end of the game, it's one point per farm. This is probably going to get discarded for <laughs> a basic resource. All right. Oh yeah. And then we have another recruit. We have the genetic engineer. Whenever you gain a farm, trigger its oh, trigger its income uh, benefit. There you go. All right, back to you. All right, I have a four, uh, so we're gonna explore once again. Okay. I'm gonna move myself here, so I'm really str I have up to eight movement here. Wow. But I'm only gonna move two, one, two, and because Zingy has a, a four strength B uh, extra bonus benefit, uh -huh. I'm gonna go ahead and take it. So. I get uh, two pollen, plus I get to choose one that goes there. So I think I'm going to go with a uh, fiber. Fiber? Yeah, two pollen and a fiber. So here's the fiber. Fiber. And then you get, oh, wait, you're going to put that, wait, what is it? So it comes with two pollen. Okay. And Oh, sorry. And then this fiber is going to go sit on top. Yeah. Okay, so then you get two pollen and a fiber. Correct, yeah. There you go. And okay. that is with a strength four. That is with the strength four. So what is your ability here? Yeah, so this one is kind of interesting. Teach one dance and use it twice. Oh, so you get to teach dance. I get to teach one of these two dances. So this is uh, something that is kind of um, something kind of interesting and it's kind of a rarity in this game because you can only do it twice ever. Uh -huh. uh, let me actually take a look at these real quick. Okay, while you're looking at those, uh, what this does is there are two dances that are available per game and these are uh, going to vary. There's a whole stack of them yep. in the box. And so Naveen is basically choosing two parameters to convert to whatever's on the right. right. So the two that we have available, available here are the Dance of Remembrance and the Dance of Knowledge. Right. And so the re Remembrance will gain you a honey, but you have to turn in whatever two parameters Naveen is choosing. So there's, this is not a secret. There's yeah. a whole kind of uh, slew of these right here, and I'm actually going to turn in. I am going to do the Remembrance. So these oh, you are? two are going to go there. So he's choosing to do pollen yeah. and water. So now Perfect. you can, when you go to the convert, action space, you can turn in one pollen and one water for one honey instead of this conversion rate. Right. So had he chosen uh, the Dance of Knowledge, he would turn in two things for two points and a seed. Right. You also I place also your token there, there because anytime uh, other players take this action, Naveen gets to go up on the Queen's favorite track. And he'll only get this benefit when somebody else, if I were to take if this Monique dance, to then Naveen it, yeah. gets to go up on the so Queen's So higher player counts, uh, typically it's going to be a little bit more lucrative. Yeah. But I'm going to do it now. So I set it up this way because I get to take this, uh, do this dance twice. Oh, that's nice. So I'm going to turn in pollen and water twice so I can get two honey. So here we go. Oh, you're going to carve. I want to. <laughs> 
Oh, lucky. Do you have space? You Can you oh, hold yeah. your honey? Yeah, I have a lot of honey spaces. Oh, oh my gosh, you're the honey so master. So honey is these little honey pots, these kind of golden ones here. So there we go. So I have two of them. Uh, I do have space. I'll just plop them one in one, just like that. Nice. All right, back to me. I think this is the uh, a good opportunity for me to put out my one because um, putting them yeah. will give me access to the five yeah, column. One plus four. Yeah, yeah, one plus four. So are you going to... Put that in your oh, landing area. Yeah. So I have a 4-4. Four, four. This one is in the reserve, not even in, in my employee. So mm -hmm. I think I'm going to have to put it in the bottom landing area if I want to take a uh, an action that gets me the income of the right. three. Right, because when you retrieve any of your fours and they hibernate, you do not get to take yeah. income for them. Right. So this is a good a good use of the landing yes. area. Yes, yeah. So I, I, that's what I'll do, yeah. So then I have two wax uh, and one water. And I think I'm gonna take this because this is worth four points. Okay. And it's in the five column. And it says that I can take three face up uh, tiles and add them to my reserve, and only I may build them. Mm, nice. So it's gonna cost me my two wax. There okay. you go. There you go. And it's worth how many points? It's worth four, worth four points. points. I huh? don't have any more workers in my reserve, so I'm not gonna place it here. But I will place it here because. Essentially, these two are they're all the same benefit. Yep. If I place it here, I get a seed card. There so, you go. Oh, thank you. And this says retrieve a worker, no strength change or income. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Wow. And at the end of the game, two points per hibernation uh, token place. For hey, every that's token you great. have, it's plus two if you plant it uh, as a seed. Yeah. So then I'm going to take uh, the scientist. Okay. And I only have these two options. So I will take the crop rotation because this lets me build any two face up farms for free. Mm. That's kind of a nice like boom, boom. Like if you were trying to fill up your, your hive. Right. And this one, I guess, because it only costs water and uh, I need more space for regular resources. Okay. So that's it. Now everything slides down. All right, I'll help you out. So that's kind of nice. There we go. We have a drawn comb. Recollect. Mm. Oh, whoa, recollect from your, your explore tokens. Whoa. <laughs> there you go. Donation, which is you can turn up turn a basic resource in up to five times for one point each. Oh, that's Very nice. Good. Yeah. And then a patron. Whenever you hibernate, gain one uh, wax. Cool. Well, I, uh, I don't have anybody to place out because this is in my landing area. I have nobody in my active pool. I have two fours. So we are going to do a double hibernation. Wow. And one income. So... Uh, I'll do the income first. Uh, so this three will go to become a four. Yeah. And then I can I have a choice of three points or two points. I think I'll take <laughs> three points. Okay. There we go. And then now we're going to do a double hibernation. So these fours, they're going to be retired. Yeah. So these fours, I have to put out um, two of these little tokens right here that yeah. basically represent it. So it's almost like we have 11 of these, you yeah. know, but these just represent <laughs> the ones that are no longer worked. They're, they're done. Sure. So <laughs> it's a lot of theme. A lot right of theme, there, yeah. Man. So uh, I'm gonna take a honey. Oh, I wanted honey that. Honey is a very valuable thing. I really wanted that spot. I so, debated so. just retrieving that one, just so I can take the honey, but I thought it might be silly. <laughs> I'll go ahead and get myself a little bit extra wax. Now this this one right here says if I cover that up, I can wipe out this entire uh, row and get mm -hmm. three new cards. Yeah, flush it. So I don't want to just put out some new tiles for you. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that there. <laughs> Okay. And then I will get my wax. I don't even have any wax. Ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> I know. There's no risk. I know. <laughs> okay. So that was our first hibernation. We had two in a row. Uh, back to you. Congratulations. Thanks. I'm also going to have to hibernate soon, I think, but not yet because I do have this four. Okay. I'm going to send it to research. So when you take the research action, um, you can draw up that many cards, number of cards equal to your strength. So I'm so going to draw four. four. Yeah. But you only keep one. Okay. So you get the best of them. Yeah. I'm going to discard these three, okay. and I'm going to take this seed card that says I can activate two different uh, income abilities on face-up farms on the board. Mm. Um, or at the end game, it says five points, which is actually better than this. This has a... A, uh, a stipulation. Yeah, a stipulation. My hive mat has to be full to get the five points. This is just five points. Nice. So the thing that's nice about sending a, a strength four worker there is I also get to plant my first gonna plant seed. It? I'm going to plant <laughs> yeah. it. I mean, it makes so, sense. Pressure's off. Yeah, so they're just like so, that. So extra five points, points for that. Monique. Yes, and because I I had um, grown an additional 
uh, I forgot what these are called, <laughs> hive tile, I guess, uh -huh. I can plant up to three seed cards. Right. If I can build another one of these, then I can unlock my fourth one. It's called a frame. There you go. Frame. And that's it. So that goes back to you. Very good. Well, this is the only time I can carve is when you have a 4B. So 4B, you shall go. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and carve. So uh, I am going to have to pay a certain amount of honey. But because I have the artisan, mm -hmm. everything is going to cost one less honey. That so. is so nice. So this discovery one is scoring me the most right now because it's three points for every one of these tokens I have, and mm -hmm. I have uh, four of them, so that's 12. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think I'm going to take that one. Might that's as well. Nice. And there's more to be had if I wanted to in right. the future. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this one. It's going to cost two honey, but because of my carve artisan, yeah. uh, it's only going to cost me one honey. You have so, so much honey. So I have to only pay one, which wow. is fantastic. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this here because it's the only legal spot for it. That is so nice. What's really nice about these next two spots is I get discounts on both wax and honey on my next couple builds. That's nice. The Langstroth. So, the Langstroth. <laughs> the Langstroth hive. Shall strike. Is really nice. I don't know, we'll see what happens in the end. Uh, so yeah, that was it. Uh, I have carved, I have no bees. <laughs> We'll but see where I go from there. You'll get a freebie. I will get a freebie. Because if you start your turn with no active bees at your disposal, they're all in the reserve, you get one strength bee. For free. And you can put it out. So there you go. There and this go. does not get refilled. That's nope, that. that's it. Well, I have no bees. All of my bees are on the board, literally. Okay. So I must retrieve. Oh, actually, no. Hold on. I'm not going to retrieve. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this seed card because you can do it before your turn. Okay. So this ability says I can retrieve one, no strength change or income. Since it's not my action, I can place it out again. Yeah. So I'm going to retrieve, I guess I'll retrieve this one because it's four. kind of the best time to use another four, which almost feels like a waste, honestly, because I, uh, I don't have any honey and you can only carve with a four. True. But I guess I might as well just research again. Okay, back so, at it. Huh? Back at it. Um, I'm going to go run ahead and draw back. four. Yeah, draw four. Yeah. So I'm just going to run it again. You're the card lady. Yeah. I'm not, I haven't even looked at a card. Oh, the cards are fun. <laughs> I actually drew some good ones. This one says you draw uh, farm tiles equal to the number of players from the stack, draft one, and then pass clockwise and everybody can build them for free. It's nice for me. But I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to play that one. I think I'm just going to take this card because it has the same uh, seed end game point ability as my other seed card here, which is five points if your hive mat is full. But the main ability is different. This one says the worker you place this turn acts as if it has plus two strength, whereas this one says plus one or minus one strength to one of my workers. Ooh, I don't know which one I prefer. I think I will keep this and I will plant this one. Okay. Because it's a, it's a four. So now I really want to, to fill out my, my hive mat. Mm -hmm. All right, that's me. Back to you. Well, uh, I have nobody in the active pool. I have this four here, so we are going to go ahead and retrieve, a.k.a. hibernate them. Mm -hmm. So this four goes off the board. Get another one. You're going to secure your seven points. So there's how many? One, two, three, four, five in here. Yeah. So if I put one in there, I get seven. Yeah. I don't know. This this card over here is seeming kind of nice. Oh, you want a seed? I don't know. Maybe. All that seed talk. <laughs> yeah, you're doing some stuff Luring with seeds. You. I will place this here. So we're going to wipe out the recruits. Okay. Off you go. And, and then get I get a, a resource of my choice. What would you like? Um, I'll take a I'll take a pollen. A pollen? Let's go with the pollen. Yeah. This one, right? Yeah. Okay, there you go. There we go. And we have new recruits. We have a pe paleontologist. Okay. Whenever you build a tile adjacent to me, gain one pollen. Okay. Um, this is the pharmacist. When you take the research action, you may retrieve one uh, worker and collect one income. Oh, nice. Oh, that's actually really nice. And then the architect, whenever you gain one of these extra, the frames, mm -hmm. you can pay one resource to plant a seed. Oh, I've had that one before. That mm. was nice. All right, that was it. That was my action. So I have no bees. I'm going to get right. a free bee. You are going to get a free bee. A free bee. Well, it's back to me, and I don't have any bees, and I don't have any more <laughs> tools at my disposal. Uh, to retrieve them. So I'm going to go ahead and, and take a regular retrieve action or retrieve turn. Sure. These two will increase in strength. So it's going to go to a four and then this is going to go to a two. Okay. And because I, I pulled back those two workers, I do get income. So, a so this is going to get me a resource Basic of my choice. Resource. I'm going to take a fiber. Okay. So there's that. I also you get two get points, right? two points yep. because of my, One, my faction two. upgrade. Very good. And then these are both fours. Yeah. So I have to hibernate double them both. Hibernate. This is a double hibernate. Um, I don't know. Are you going to secure that? Yeah, maybe I should, right? I mean, two points plus securing the three is five points to my seven. I mean, it's pretty good. That is good. I'm going to do it. Yeah. I'm going to take this. So it's two points. Two points. And then I'm going to take 
this benefit, and which you love is your cards. a seed card. I do yeah. love my cards. <laughs> this is I can pay a resource to place a second worker. So you just go back to back. Good, not great, I guess, but it is also two points per planted seed card. So this would score me six points if I could plant it. So I might want to just do that. Yeah. And then because I hibernated two tokens, um, my insurer gets me two points whenever I hibernate. So, so twice, that's four points. Four points. Ooh, boy. 17. Yes. Don't like it. All right. That's it. That's me. All right. My turn. Uh, didn't see it going down this way. I have no bees. <laughs> I'm going to get the... Uh, the freebie. The freebie. The, the, the give me. So I get one active it's, bee. It's the empty hive rule. The empty hive <laughs> You're rule. You're an empty nester. And you get to place it out. I do get to place it out. So I could go here, mm -hmm. but I could also go here. What's interesting about this one is one plus one is two. Yes. This tile that we saw very early on said gain oh. two workers for free, strength one or two. This is the perfect time to gain more bees. Touche. I've been waiting for this moment. This yeah. is why I was kind of okay with this. Now, this is going to cost me one wax. However, hmm. because I'm the Langstrom here, uh, instantly if I if I build one of these, yeah. Um, it doesn't cost me any wax because it's one minus one. So Specifically a development tile. A development right? tile, yeah. So oh, the development nice. tile, so I put that there. It's not going to cost me the wax. Yeah. And, and I will take these two workers. And honestly, I'm going to pump them up to a better uh, value. So I'm going to make them twos, both of them. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, well, the game is is coming to a close because going, there are only yeah. three available spots here. Right. And I have a, a four strength worker, and now yours are suddenly at two. A little stronger. Okay, so this development tile is crop diversity. Mm -hmm. You can turn in a seed card for two points each. Oh, I don't know. I guess you can just do that several times. And I have to remember that I have these, actually. Mm. So yeah, you handpicked those. I did, <laughs> from the ones that were available, yeah. really. I think I'm in need of some resources. So I'm going to send out my four to explore. Okay. It's been a while since I've been there. Okay. And I'm just going to go straight to... This planet. Yeah, it's good. Cur Curp I was going to go here, but it's only one point compared to that, which gets me three points Stop. for my strength four benefit. Yeah. So this gets me one green and I'll one give yellow. You the three points also. One, two, three, because I will you. forget. Yes, the three points for the four, the strength four benefit, and I also get two more basic resources of my choice. Okay. So let me just place these and see how much space I have left. Oh, not much. I think I can literally only take water unless I want a different combination of these. Unless you want to go up on this track. Don't forget, you can do the dance over here if you take water and pollen. <laughs> I could do that anyway. But it's a better rate. Benefit. I'm going to take two of these. Two pollen. So now that's the end of my turn, I'm going to swap this out for a pollen. And I cannot store these, right? Yep. So I will go up twice. twice. Yeah, on One, the Queen's Favorite track. There we go. I'm not really doing the Queen's Favorite track at all. I'm trying, and so... I'm, that's, that's where I'm at. So... <laughs> You know. All right, back to you. Okay, I'm going to send out my two. We're going to move you over, so I have up to six movement points. But honestly, I'm just going to move over one here so I can get this uh, nice little Queen's Favor token. So I nice. move up, so now I'm in that next threshold here. Mm -hmm. uh, so that goes on top, and then we are going to explore this planet. Okay, so <laughs> oh, it nice comes one. with, uh, it has a four bonus. So uh, if you put a four out there, you get to build one farm for free and trigger its income. Mm -hmm. Uh, so right now, uh, it's going to come with a pollen, mm -hmm. and then also I get to choose what goes on it. Let's go with fiber on it. Okay. So you get a fiber and, and the, the pollen. pollen. And then it gets... And then it gets a fiber. Fiber, yeah. And that's its only available spot for a resource. Right. And so now I'm in the situation where I am uh, overshot on these. So I'm going to go ahead and toss this back. So I'm going to get myself up a bump on the Queen's Favorite track. Nice. Got to keep it moving. Yeah. All right. I'm going to send my Strength 2 worker to advance. Okay. And so it doesn't really matter what the sum is because I want to build one that's in my reserve. Okay. So the scientist costs two uh, pollen. Okay. And this is the one that lets me produce one wax for free when nice. I go to convert. Yeah. So I'm going to place this Ooh, Is it time to here. cover up? Get a worker? Yeah, I get a worker. A level so one. So it's a level, a strength one worker, there which is go. nice. And I also get my, my last time that I can gain a seed card for that botanist. That was really, really, really nice. You used it. Thank you. You did it. This says I can add plus uh, or minus one strength oh, to my workers. Two points per... Um, per blue? Oh, per blue. Oh, <gasps> I got to plant this. No, that's great. Ooh. I need to build more <sighs> of those. That's eight points. That's eight points. I believe that's it. So back to you. Okay, I am running out of space here on the Langstroth over here. So we're going to have to explore and expand a little bit more by growing. So I'm going to send out a two worker here. Mm -hmm. 
and then honestly with my two strength, I'm just gonna uh, submit these two pollens to get one of these uh, tiles, like, kind of like what you have. So nice. those go out. I finally have one of these. I'm just gonna slip this in right over here. So that way I can maybe build around this Pomone because I I should probably try to get some points. Yeah. Points sound good. <laughs> probably. Yeah. All right. So I have a one strength and there's really not too much that you can do. So I'm thinking about just... Um, forcing a hibernation? Yeah, forcing my hibernation, which is not... Yeah. I mean, there's that spot right there. Okay. I'm going to do it. Uh, can you please bump me off on Explore? Okay. So you're going to move yourself off. I move into the second slot and you have a total of three. Yes. I will hibernate that. Technically, you're supposed to take your action and then hibernate this. So I'm just going to do that. Okay. And I'm just going to move the queen bee up one space. So to zingy, it's just two, two, pollen and two a yellow and one green. So that's cool. Oh, yeah. I cannot hold. So I think this time I will hold two of these. Okay. And you're giving back the fiber? Yeah, giving back the All right, fiber. I'm going to give you a one bump on the uh, queen saber. Thank you. All right. So there's that. And then now I'm going to hibernate my four. So this is going to go out okay. and I'm going to place one and I think I'm going to go here because it gets me a wax. Why? Oh, no. I was, I was just curious. Oh, no. It's just because this one allows you to uh, to go up the track for the next. But if you need wax. It's just one. Yeah. yeah. It's just plus it gets me two points for mm -hmm. just being in there. Yep. So may I have one wax, please? One wax. I also get two points because I'm hibernating. Oh, uh, yeah. That's not good for me. And then okay. I refresh the development tiles. Ooh, put something good out there so, for me. <laughs> please. Come on. Nothing good. For me. Ooh. Ooh, gain two of those. And Nucleus, it's worth three points. two frames. Gain three cards. Cultivars. Cultivars. And then this one is turn in uh, two resources for wax. Yeah. Okay. okay. Some good stuff. That's it. Well, I have nobody in the active, so we are going to go ahead and retrieve. So everybody is going to uh, level up. So this one becomes a two. Mm -hmm. uh, this two becomes a three. And my other two also becomes a three. Mm -hmm. um, I can go ahead and get income on two farms. I really should have had more farms at this point. <laughs> But I, I get, know, I, I felt get, the same I way. I get five points. Uh, 12 plus uh, gets to 17. Mm -hmm. Well, I really should have more farms because this Pomone wants farms, you know? So mm -hmm. I made some uh, boo-boos, I think. But, you know, I was trying something. Yeah. All right, that's me. Well, I'm in the same situation. So I have to retrieve. So this is going to go to a three. Two goes that's going to go to a two. One goes to a two. And then I am going to collect my one basic resource, which will be a water. Okay. I think I, I should probably do that. And I also get two. Is it two points? Two, two points, points, yeah. For my that's faction. Good. That's good, good, good. Income. 24, I don't like it. All right, back to you. Mm. Well, these are all worth the same to me, so I'm going to go ahead and put my two out there. I'm going to put my two onto this slot. Mm -hmm. uh, so even though I have three, I'm actually going to take this one because remember, uh, water on farms is free for me, so I can actually just build this for free. Oh, yeah. I needed to get this on my board because I was running out of spots, and I really want this for a carve action. Yeah. It gives me a, a discount. So, so you really need a four. This one's going to go onto this slot here, which is going to... Um, Get me one of these seed cards. I get to see, I get to see a card, Monique. <laughs> Look at that. Congrats. And this is going to be worth an extra two points because of uh, being close to that. So it's one plus two. So that seems like a good idea. Okay. All right. This is the, my one card. Okay. So this one says I can pay three resources to gain one of those. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But well, look want. at the end game. Six points if you reach space fifteen or higher. I've been wanting to do this. I mean, you're still you're six off. I'm six off. It's just that's six resources that you just need to waste. I need to waste. Honestly, I have space, so. you have okay. so many. That see, that's the thing. If you have too many farms, you can't use. Well, that. that's why I wanted this farm for the water because I'm just not grabbing water. I'm mm. grabbing other things the whole time because I don't need water. Yeah. Because I have the discount. Right. On water. That's true. So that yeah. Very good. Ah, <sighs> okay. There we go. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, we go. So we have this tile. Okay, it's another farm. I'm going to go ahead and send my two uh, to advance. Oops, that was a two. I promise. Okay. I promise. Okay. And so that lets me go up to column four, and I'm just going to build this. Now that I have that seed card that gives me points at the end of the game for these, I'm just going to get the one that gives you points. This is one point. Yeah. So it's going to cost two pollen. Okay. And if I take the research action, which I plan on doing at least one more time, you can retrieve. I can retrieve a, a worker and collect one uh, income. So that's, that's nice. And I think I'm gonna place it here so that I can get one of my strength one workers. workers. There you go. Thank you. Anything else going on? No, that's it. Okay. So we have a new recruit. This is the nutritionist. When you take the grow action, 
this one. You can gain a frame you for, get this free. for free. I don't know about gaining any more of those. Why not? I think the game's gonna end yeah, it's before nice, you can actually It's a nice build. early action yeah. because it's expensive to do that. Yeah. So, all right, back to you. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and bump myself off. So I'm gonna take this three mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna slide this two down. So I will make this two into a three. Okay. So we have two threes uh, hanging out in my active pool. Ooh. A total of five here. So I think I like this one. Mm -hmm. This one is worth two points, uh, and then it's going to cost me two wax, which I do have, mm -hmm. and it's the uh, cultivars gain three cards. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take this one. I'm going to place it onto this slot here, which is gain another card. So oh my I, gosh. I'm gain four cards here. What is? It's going to cost me two wax. We'll see. That's I don't. So I don't know nice. what to do. And then if I don't like these cards, I can always get them for just a uh, you know. One, two, three, I like three, the seed four. cards. It's all it's like a like a treasure box, like yeah. in a video game. I know. And you get to keep them all. I get to keep them all, so uh, let's take a look at them. So there's nothing to discard. I'm I'm just gonna keep them all and in the interest of uh time, I'll just I'll name them if I if I end up if playing you end up using them. It? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So there's that. The slides down. We have a flight path. Gain two explore tokens. Oh, that's nice for you. Yeah, I spent all my wax. Before I take my next action, I think I'm gonna spend two of these. Okay. So I definitely want to plant this because that's the blue cards, which are nice. Yeah. So two of these, I think I will spend to turn them in for the basic resource. I'm gonna turn them in for uh, two pollen. Okay. So there's that. And then I'm going to send out my three, so that I could so that I could um, build from this column. Yeah. I'm gonna bump this and turn this into a three, and so you total six, so you can take from anywhere. Yeah, I'm just gonna build a nutritionist. Yeah, you, now it's in your favor because it's in my favor. Yeah, build blues, and it's a point. The other two are not worth anything, so I'm gonna turn in these two, and I'm gonna place it. I'm just gonna place it in my last spot here, just to make sure I built up my hive mat. So I gain a you do a one strength worker. Ah. For that, Come on. and I believe that's it. I'm gonna make sure I do that there. Okay, so another recruit. We have a nurse. Uh, grow. Oh, this is worth two points. Grow. You gain one one strength worker for free. Okay. Well, I see. I need. I I would love to do a carve again yeah. at some point, but everything's three three three. So I'm gonna convert my three into a four by bumping myself off, putting a three out here. I'm gonna bump this and I will take it as a four. Okay. It's gonna go back into my active. So now I have a three and a four here. Okay. Um, so uh, I, I know I wanna build out this farm right here. I wanna surround this uh, Pomona right here. So mm -hmm. let's go ahead and just take this one. Okay. It's uh, gonna be worth one point at the end of the game. Uh, it's gonna cost me one fiber. Uh, I don't have to pay for water because of my uh, aquaculturalist. Okay. So here's my one fiber, off it goes. And then now I'm just gonna place this right next to this. So this is now Technically max out. I can't score any more for this, so I can just forget about that whole part of the game. Okay. There we go. Nice. You did it. I did it. So it's going to be two, four, six, and if I can flip this over, it'll be worth another one, two, three points. Just send a, a four. A four, but the four needs yeah, to go carve. Yeah, I guess carve, you can, so, can max yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got the points. Yeah, carving is more Carving points. is probably more points, yeah. yeah. All right, there we go. Very good. I think I'm just going to do the thing that I did last time. Okay. It's, a bit, it's a bit spammy, I will admit, um, but... It's kind of nice. So I'm going to discard this okay. to take a pollen. Okay. And I need to build from column five, which okay. I guess is fine to put up my three because it'll turn this into a four, mm. which is actually what I want now, right? Yeah. So this will turn to a four. Yikes. And I'm going to build the nurse because it's two points, cost right. the pollen. And I'm going to place it up here so I can take a seed just in case there's something better, although that's really nice. So... We have pay three basic resources to upgrade your faction. Oh, <laughs> that would have been nice for I have you. No re I have no resources anymore. I was doing pretty well with those. Okay. The navigator. Explore. Also gain one adjacent explore token. There you go. That would be nice for me. All right, back to you. You know, Kerbita is actually not bad. Even though I said I, I want carve, I, there's a way, because I'm at 3-3 three, three with the 4. I, I can get to carve. Okay. So I, I'm going to hold off on putting my 4 out there right now. I'm actually going to send my uh, my 4 to explore so I can take this benefit. And we're going to move down 1-2 onto Kerbita. So yeah. can I have a pollen and a wax? That was definitely the best planet of this game. Yeah. Because there's so much stuff so on it. So much stuff. And you get two more resources. I get two more resources and, and three, three victory points. points. So uh, 17 goes to 20. Yeah. Two more resources. All right. I would like to get this passive bump up here. I'll take a fiber. Uh, and then the other one, honestly, is going to be a waste. So I'm just going to... I'll take two fiber. How about two that? Two fiber? Yeah. So okay. There you go. I was going to go there. Then this fiber is going to go... Oh, you're just going to discard back. it. Yeah. Okay. 
So you, you get you are now on the the five point threshold for yeah. the queen's favorite track. I am. Who? All right. So now we both have fours. Uh, we are very very close because we just need to fill in one more, and so we're looking at just a, a few more turns left. So I'm going to go ahead and send my strength four worker to research. So this is that card mm. action. <laughs> one two three four. Gonna I'm going to keep one. one out I'm there. probably just going to plant that. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I'm going to keep this card. Okay. So this says I can convert two resources to a wax. Uh, at the end of the game, it's three points per carved tile. And I did not, I don't actually have plans of doing that. Good. Because it, honey is so expensive. And I just missed out on all of the good opportunities uh, to get honey. So I'm going to plant this card now that says two points per blue tile at the end of the game. And now I'm, on, I'm maxed out on planted seeds until I... Build another frame. Okay. So that is where we're at. Well, if I can build one more right here, uh, that would score me eight points because it would close off that uh, extra kind of addition to our hive. Mm. So let's go ahead and put the three and slide myself down so I can create another four. So this four is going to come over here. Uh, and then now, actually, you know, what? I'm not going to take this action. I think there, there might be a little bit more of an efficient way to do this. So okay. I'm going to go back. This, uh, this stays as a three and this stays as a three here. Yeah. So I will go ahead and explore and oops, this is a four over here and this is a three. Okay. So let's go ahead and explore. We're going to go one, two, three and take this token because every single one of these tokens is worth three points to me based oh. off of my uh, discovery oh, I about tile. That. Oh, pain. So I get a fiber. <laughs> Can I have a fiber, please? Yeah. Uh, this one? Fiber. Oh, fiber. Green. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Okay, green fiber, which I don't think I can house anywhere. I purposely built all these farm tiles that cannot house fiber and pollen so I can go up this track. Smart. So let's reveal something good for me. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Come on. All right. I don't know. Fiber it up. I mean, I think a majority of them are those types yeah. of planets, but you want uh, fiber, I want more, right? you know, yeah. Okay, here's one for you one and for one me. for the planet. There. All right, so I have no plans on planting anything. Okay. So I think I can burst up this track. Uh-huh. And so at the end of my turn, I can just turn all these in for resources, yes? Yeah. So I have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I'll take five fiber. Okay. Which I can't house. Okay. It's five, six, seven. So I get seven bump on the queen's favorite track. Nice. So, so you're at 10. 10. You get a 17. 17. That is 10 points now for you. Yes. Gain five points there. Ah. Five point turn. Five point turn. Okay. Whew. All right. Well, it goes back to me. It would have been really great for me to have been able to build another frame so that I can plant another seed. Mm -hmm. But because you're at a four and you're going to retrieve your workers, you're going to hibernate. There's mm -hmm. only going to be one more spot left. So we're really, really short on time now. And I'm too scared that I won't be able to complete this. So I think I'm going to take something that's really suboptimal. So I'm just going to go to the advanced action. Bump you. Oh, bump me. And my three becomes a four. Oh, yeah. So you don't. Ugh. I wasted. So do you want me to do this or not? Yeah, just do it. You will do it. Yeah. Okay. It's just, I, I don't want to. <laughs> I'm going to sit here and, and, and think about it for too long. If Go not. wallow. Yeah. You know, I'm actually going to leave it as a three. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So I'm just going to build more of these blue tiles. Oh, blue tiles, yeah. <laughs> because I have these two and I won't be able to plant them. Okay. So I'm going to spend one as one of these. Pollen, yeah. Yeah, and I'm just going to spend it to build this, right? Yep. And... You only have two spaces. Yeah. I'll just go here. There you go. I want to, I want to be able to complete this. So I can get the eight points for that. Yeah, for sure. All right. That is it. So now we have a Somnologist. Um, oh, wow. Whenever you hibernate, you collect the hibernation bonus twice. That would have been really nice. Solid. Okay. So, yeah, for uh, especially for honey. Yeah. Okay. Uh, because I have uh, somebody in the landing area, everybody else is on the board, I am going to go ahead and uh, recall. Okay. So my these two, this one and this one, are going to both convert to a four. Mm -hmm. That means I can take income on both of those. So I have yeah. my five points. So that's why I wanted to bring them down in, instead of uh, turning into a four. Yeah, that's good so use of your landing area. 20 sure. goes to 25. Very good. And then this four is going to become a hibernation. So I'm going to hibernate them. And let's put this out onto resource or, or a, move up the track. I would love to get a point by moving up the track. Boom. You also have to discard all of the farm Wipe tiles. It. So this is a nice off it goes. Um, uh, flush mechanism, yeah. So we have three. Oh, this gets you a plus one strength a worker. Worker. Every income. Yeah. That's nice. And it's not even that expensive. Yeah, not bad. All right. All right, that was that turn. 
All right, well, it goes back to me. I have one more worker. And since you have two fours, I think to prevent you from being able to put them both out, I have to recall early. So I'm gonna do that. These two are gonna turn into a two and this will turn into a four. Okay. And then uh, this one will hibernate. Before I do that, I do collect income on this. So I'm going to take, I will take a one of these, the yellow. And I also get two points. Okay, two points. Yes. So you're at uh, 26. And then this goes out, this hibernates. Okay. So I'm gonna take this last spot, which gets me another resource. So I guess I'll, I'll take another one of these. And then because I hibernated, that is another two points. Two more points. Okay, so you're yes. at uh, 28. There we go. So it's 28 to 25 as of right now. All right, that is it. We've triggered the end of the game because all of these spots in the hibernation comb for a two-player game have been filled. So we each get one more turn, including me, because I triggered the end of the game. Well, so, uh, final I'm, definitely, turn. I'm definitely gonna carve. So with my four, we're gonna nice. go ahead and place right here. Now, the best one that I see uh, is this one. It says one point per space I'm on this. That's gonna be worth 18 points if I take oh, that Oh, that's so nice, Nadine. Um, yeah, yep, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? So, yeah, okay. Thoughts here. So I get a one discount over here, yeah. plus my artisan also gets me another discount. So instead of paying three, I yeah. only pay one. Wow. There you go. So nice. Off it goes. Oh, actually, it's over there. Oh, yeah, there it is, yeah. Right. Nice. There okay, go. I and I completed the high finally. That was pretty integral yeah. for me to to have uh, done that. Done that because you could have done that again. Okay. Anyway, good job. Thanks. Back to me for the final turn, and I think I'm gonna put out this four, and I'm just gonna go into advance because it scores me three points since it's a strength four. It does this is that was a good block what you did one two three because I would have been able to go here finish this off for another extra eight points. Eight plus whatever that this. is. Yeah. So yeah. That, that, oh. that, that was kind of bothersome. We got to calculate what that would have been. Well it would have been <laughs> another 12. Fine. Yeah. It would have been pretty bad. Okay. Yeah. It would have been another 20 points. 20 points? 20 points. Yeah. Because there's something on here that would get me uh, 12 plus finishing off would be another eight. So you blocked me from 20 points oh, by doing that. I will sleep well tonight. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to, to build here. And at this point, it honestly doesn't matter between these two because they both get me a point. So you can only get from here. Oh no, you have four plus one. Never mind. So I'll just take the, the subnologist because that is some, some so very important work that they do. Uh, that's two pollen. And I'll go ahead and place that there. So ah, and out. you close out yours. Yeah, what, what a, a beautiful, swing. Beautiful high. 20 <laughs> my way, 8 plus your way. Oh. Woo! Oh. Wow. I have no idea what's about to happen, although I feel like there's going to be pain for one of us, right? Yeah. Not for me. I think your, your I scoring know. area is good. I don't know. Shall we go into endgame scoring? Yeah, let's do it. All right. All right, first things first, we actually start with the seed cards. We're gonna go according to um, the rule book. Okay. So I have these three seed cards. It's five points, five points if my hive mat is full, which it is, and then two points per recruit. <sighs> Man. So that's 10, and then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine times two, 18 plus yeah. 10, that's 28. 28. That is where a bulk of my points are coming so from. 31 so. uh, plus eight is 39 plus another 20, so 59? 59. All right, so I'll let you take over on your scoring track. a little sad that it came out this <sighs> early, but <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> here we are. And of course I have none. All right, so then we move on to the points that are showing on our actual tiles. So just count them and tell me how many you have. Sure. I have 10. I have eight. Oh, okay. So I go to 69. 5 to 33. Okay. Next come the carvings. So I don't have any carvings. It's just you. Okay, this one. One point for uh, every space I'm on the queen's favor. So I'm at 18. So we have, uh, what's that? So 33 to 41 plus another 10. So that's uh, 51. 51. Yep, there we go. Okay. Uh, the next one is three points for every one of these tokens. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So 18. So another 18. So 51 plus 18, 69. 69. Whoa, we're tied. Oh, oh no. great. Oh no. How does this end? <laughs> Filling your hive mat Gah! and frames. Buddy. Why? Because I didn't do it because you blocked it off. Wait, didn't you fill? I Wait. filled one of them, not two of them. Okay, so that's eight points. Yeah, it's big. Okay, so. When we're tied. <laughs> yeah, oh. I have my hive mat <laughs> and I have my frame. Oh, yeah. So that's 16 points. So 16 plus 69 is, what is that? 69, 16, 15, 85. Yeah. Right? Oh, wait. 80, 85. Five. And then yours is eight. Eight. 
So eight, seven, 77? Yeah. Okay. And then for the rest of it, you're going to score a lot of points. Okay. So Me? I think here's where you recover. I am? Yes. Okay. It's going to be points on the Queen's favorite. Oh, track. that's right. I totally I'm at forgot about that. Two, a whole two. One, I totally two. forgot about that. You are at 11. 11. Yes. So you're going to go from to 88. 77 okay. plus 11 is 88. Okay. Then. That's feeling a little better. <laughs> okay. Any faction's end game scoring ability. I don't have that. My faction was an in game benefit. Yours right. is end game. So I get two points for every farm that's adjacent to this. Two, four, six. I did not flip this over because it would have been three. So extra six points. Okay. That's over oh, there. yeah, it's over here. Mm -hmm. So you're red. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're at 94 to my 87. And finally, we score the majorities ah. in the hibernation comb. So Naveen, Most I think you're going to take this. I get seven. So, yes, there are these two. Um, let me just take this one first. Sure. I get three points. There's no second place in this comb because I had two, two, your one. Yep. So one, two, three. And then Naveen gets seven because he has three in, in this one and I get two because okay. I have yours. So one, two, to your one, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven. Did I break a hundred? You break a hundred. 101. 101. So that's it. I did it. That's everything. Naveen, Oh my gosh. To 92. Oh, I totally you forgot about actually scoring the, the queen's favor. Yes. I totally forgot. That was the whole that reason was the why yeah. you wanted that card. That's why I that wanted to go thing. up that way. Yeah, that's right. Good job. Oh, I did it. You Put it the, in the BG stats. The <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you were the most evolved B, e, yeah. B faction. E more, oh, my there gosh. Is. Well, dang, <laughs> that was I was very nervous about that. That's a, every single time we play this game and we go to final scoring. Yeah, it always feels like this. I even said it in the in the uh, our final thoughts in our review last yeah. time. It was like I'm so invested in how many actions I've taken over yeah, the course right, of the game right. that I'm like, oh come on. <laughs> you don't know. You don't know who's don't winning know. Uh, during the game, and yeah. the majority of those points really come in at the very end of the game, and that's something that we mentioned as well. And uh, I feel like that's where a majority of the tension is. The tension comes right Counted at the up. very end when you're going to score your points because you're like, I have no idea. <laughs> I, I felt like I did okay, but, you know, that difference, wh where was the difference, yeah. right? I do so. definitely feel the same way as, like, I kind of mentioned uh, in, the rev in the earlier review was mm -hmm. that, like, I do feel like I'm taking action, 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 like, for right. so long. Yeah before it finally kind of like builds to this like tense moment at the end. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Cause very, especially in this play right here, it was like explore, advance, advance, yeah, explore, go right. back and forth, back and forth until it was like, okay, now that I've built something up now, I'm going to go and, and take these other kind of more uh, lucrative actions or different yeah. actions. And I feel like that is particularly true in a two player, two -player game. Yeah. So we're not going to do a full review because uh, I don't know about you, but my opinions primarily haven't changed. Some things were reinforced and, um, but, but, for the most part, it's still pretty much the same. Yeah, same. Um, I still kind of follow, I, I still go by what we said in terms of the pacing of the game. Like, it, it is long. Um, at a two-player game, this took us like, I mean, granted, if I, if I tell you how long it took, you're going to think that that's how long a regular game is when it's not. Whenever we film these games, they're like one and a half times longer than what a regular game is. We're narrating everything. We're narrating Every everything. Every single thing. And we're really, we're really thinking hard, and we give each other the time and space to just do what you want. Mm -hmm. So it took us over two hours yeah. to play this game, by the way, and there was no teach involved. <laughs> yeah. So it is. it yeah. can be very long. I don't know for anybody else out there who's already played the game what your sessions are like, but um, even our higher, our higher player count games were long as well. And the pacing is still the same in the sense that there... There is no, there is no uh, climax, I guess. Mm -hmm. You just go and go, and it's kind of like a wheel where it's like, we don't quite know when it's going to end, right? Yeah, like we, I think even early on, we we had a bunch of threes and fours, and we're like, oh, this this might end soon, mm -hmm. and then it, at least for us, for our play, yeah, like, uh, be pre-editing, like it it went on for mm -hmm. even way longer than uh, when we mentioned that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's it's it is kind of hard to kind of uh, tell when exactly it's all going to kind of come crumbling down for one person mm -hmm. or you know you're going to reach your peak i do think it's interesting that in the beginning of the game like uh it was harder for me to score points and then we ended up scoring in the in the hundreds so finding a way to build some sort of an engine and then make it work out for you in the end is interesting but i will yeah. say that this sort of reinforced the feeling that i definitely prefer this at higher player counts mm -hmm. this is not uh similar to uh euphoria this is not um, my ideal two-player setting, I suppose. Yeah, I think the three-player experience was 
better than the two player experience for yeah. me uh just because you're you're playing on the same side of this board the, mm -hmm. this is the one to three player board that we played and so the amount of spaces are the same so by the time it comes around to you you're getting bumped off a little bit more right uh versus taking the recall i mean i i feel like we took the recall more every time we play two player you take the recall more than you do in a three player Yes. It felt, it's, it's felt that way so yes. far. Yes, so that is the difference, right? Yeah. In higher player counts, you'll be bumped more often. And in, in two-player game, uh, you'll have a lot more opportunities to kind of not bump each other. But the the, the nature of a two-player game, and by the way, the only difference really in a two-player versus a three-player game is the number of spaces in the hibernation comb. So everything else is much more open. Mm -hmm. And the, the nature of a two-player game anyway is that two-player games are typically very tactical. And so you can foresee, you know, where the other player is going to go and sort of react to it that way. And I feel like because of that, it causes a lot of spamming certain locations in the beginning of the game especially like in this game we were like explore advance explore advance pretty much back and forth Herbita as much as i could because it gave you three <laughs> points it, i built out a farm infrastructure that yeah. said collect all these resources so i can continue to go up this track mm -hmm. so and then there was also a justification for go up the track mm -hmm. because i could not only score points at the end of the game for where i was mm -hmm. but there was also a uh, a carved tile mm -hmm. one of those honey tiles that yeah. also said go up the track so right. i was like oh i'm gonna do those two things and i'm gonna make sure i spam that yeah so we were spamming those those two top actions so much um and i think one of the main reasons why is because you want to be bumped off early in the game when you don't have those farms and so if I feel like the chances are high that Naveen will bump me if I take the advance or if I take the explore. So suddenly we're just kind of going back and forth. Whereas, it, whereas in a higher player count game, I, f I find myself having more opportunities to zag and maybe do the research action earlier or uh, try to upgrade or convert my resources earlier, right? So. Yeah, definitely early on, you're, you're positioning yourself just like, all right, you're going to bump me off, so my one's going to become a two. Mm -hmm. Now it's a little bit more uh, stronger. So now when I go back to the advance, now I, instead of just plucking from the first action mm -hmm. spot, I can now get from the second, maybe even the third. Mm -hmm. uh, column so that you can start building your engine like for you you, you built out like a, a really big robust blue engine mm -hmm. which lets you modify basically every other action right? yeah like that that's the, the blues basically say when you go here yeah get to do something a little bit sweeter right. so um, had that come out for me earlier, earlier that yeah. would have been that would have been very very good for me because yeah. suddenly i have all, all of these of them, tiles yeah. that uh sort of give me benefits when taking other actions and that that is the real like engine building aspect of the game the blue tiles so uh, fortunately, <laughs> it came out later in the game. Did, yeah, for me. Yeah, yeah. fortunately for, <laughs> for you. <laughs> anyway, that's essentially it. There was a lot of uh, interest in, in us showcasing a two-player playthrough, so we hope that was sufficient. If yep. you have any questions about the playthrough or even anything in the review, feel free to leave us a comment down below, and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you all so much for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more like this in the future, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.